say, when I believe the spoken word, I enter into the thing said. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Very familiar verse of scripture. So he's telling us it's not by might, it's not by our power or our might, it's by his spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Literally, the Lord of spirits. So we can see here that there is a, there's something that's going to happen. Listen, there's something that's going to happen by the vehicle of, it says how it's going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Not by might, not by power, but by, that's what by means. Mm -hmm. By means how. This is how it's going to happen. Well, I, I wanted some other way. No, this is how it's going to happen. Aren't you glad you came? Mm -hmm. This is how. Say, this is how, this is how. It's, going it's going to happen. Now, when you worship the Holy Ghost as God, which we do here, right? Mm -hmm. Things begin to change for you. I've said it many times. You get a brand new Bible. You start to see things differently. Say differently. Differently than you did before is it possible that you could see this verse of scripture differently than you did before it's possible you'll see every scripture differently than you did before not by might not by power but by meaning how how it's gonna happen by my spirit saith by my spirit saith the Lord say by my spirit, by my spirit saith, saith. Does your Bible say that? Mm -hmm. By my spirit saith. Well, we shall do by the said word of God. Mm. It's by the said word of God. By the spirit saith. When the spirit has already saith something, then it's the said word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 says, All scripture. Say all scripture. all scripture. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. That literally means God breathed. God breathed out the scriptures. If he breathed them out, what does that mean? He spoke them. He spoke them. So all these scriptures were spoken out, breathed out by God. Yeah. Yes. And is profitable. So if we're going to profit, it will be by these words that God has already breathed out. By my spirit saith. What God breathed these out? The Holy Ghost breathed them out. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 says, For the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake. Say, holy men of God. Holy men of God. Spake, spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Are you here? Yes. All scriptures were breathed out by God. This God is the Holy Ghost. He moved upon men and though they spoke it out. So all the scriptures were already spoken out by the Holy Ghost, and then the men spoke them out the holy men of God spoke them also I suppose my point is the written word was already spoken first and who was it spoken by the Holy Ghost spoke it where do you suppose he spoke it into the earth yes into your ear hopefully but into the earth and then holy men of God spake it out I believe in the spoken Word of God you've got to hear this I believe in the spoken Word of God 
say that I believe, I believe in the spoken, in the spoken word, of word of God there's no other word of God for you to believe in and I say that because Romans 10 17 says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word well you have to hear a spoken word of God for the faith that's in that word to come into you so there is no other word listen there's no other word of God for you to believe in other than the spoken word of God I believe in the spoken word of God that's my faith that's where my faith came from God spoke it first first and then holy men of God spake it I believe in the spoken word of God I believe in the said word of God do you know what said means spoken mm -hmm. it's where faith came from it has to be where my faith came from if I were to trace back the roots of my faith it had to come out of the Word of God that God already spoke that's what I believe in are you here is this okay therefore I believe in saying God's Word mm -hmm. it is life to me for I have found it Proverbs 4 22 says what have you found I've found the said Word of God it has become my faith it has become my belief mm -hmm. because I believe it mm -hmm. it has become my religion I believe in saying God's Word mm -hmm this is the way that I have chosen to go I've come too far to go back or to turn back mm -hmm. and this is the way you want it I want it some other way no you think you want it some other way this is God's way belief and speaking his word go with me or not but I'm going here what do you stop going because you're you're trying to make sure everybody follows you not everybody's gonna follow you leaders lead and often that puts you out in front and it looks like nobody else is around you and inevitably it means at times you are by yourself but no matter I've learned over the years that my calling does not depend on you getting it how how terrible would that be if I can't fulfill my call unless you get it mm. my calling is not dependent on you getting it my calling is dependent on me getting it yeah. I get it I fulfill the spoken Word of God my calling isn't depending on you getting it your calling doesn't depend on someone else getting it I call to get it I have to call it before I get it I believe in saying God's Word it is my belief mm -hmm. it's where my belief exists therefore I believe listen in the said Word of God I'm much happier if I just believe it there's joy in believing in Romans 15 13 now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost who is the God of all hope but here it says fill you with all joy and peace in believing mm -hmm. I find that when I just believe the spoken word of God I have a lot more joy I'm happier someone would say oh you're you're delusional you believe all that but I'm happy and I'm on the increase say I'm on the increase, on the increase. I'm happier I'm healthier I'm younger I'm richer I'm on the increase where are you without believing just more critical I've entered into something that you can't enter into without believing the spoken Word of God Hebrews chapter 4 verse 3 for we which have believed 
do enter into rest we which have believed do enter into something we enter into something that other people can't enter enter into mm -hmm. without the belief That's right. verse 9 there remains therefore a rest to the people of God verse 10 for he that is entered into his rest he is also ceased from his own works as God did from his verse 11 let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief let us labor work put effort into labor to enter into that rest we which have believed do enter into a rest a place a peace peace and joy in believing mm -hmm. that others can't enter into without it there's a work to it say there's a work to it he that believes has entered into he that believes what has entered into he that believes the spoken word mm -hmm. enters into that thing mm -hmm. say that thing. that thing what thing that spoken word the thing said you enter into listen if you can hear this you enter into the thing said say when i believe, when I believe the, spoken word, the spoken word i enter into, I enter into the, thing the thing said there is an entering into the thing said this is how we do it this is how we do we say the word we believe the word and we enter into the thing said welcome to my world this is how we walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today the Holy Ghost is God and we walk with him by saying words are you here yes. Psalms chapter 116 and verse 9 I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living where's the land of the living here, here where people are alive do you have to explain these things the land of the living is where people have not died that means they're alive mm -hmm. I will walk with the Lord I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living what Lord it has to be the Holy Ghost he's the only God in the earth today so I will walk before and with the Lord in the land of the living verse 10 I believed therefore have I spoken I will walk with the Lord in the land of the living I have believed therefore have I spoken how do we walk with the Lord in the land of the living by believing and speaking well I want it some other way well then you're not gonna have you're not gonna walk with the Lord in the land of the living I shall read that one more time I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living and then he tells you how you do it I believed therefore have I spoken yeah that's the Old Testament well let's look what Paul said about it 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 we this is the New Testament we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed are you here mm -hmm. I believed and therefore have I spoken this is the spirit of faith I believed and ha therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak we believe and speak we speak and believe we believe and speak we speak and believe the spirit of faith herein is the labor by which we enter speaking and believing believing and speaking mm -hmm. we enter into the thing said this is the labor this is the work that you believe you speak and believe say i speak i, speak. I, believe. I believe i speak i speak i believe, I believe. 
this is how you walk with god the holy ghost in the earth oh it can't be that simple it is that simple i'm trying to make it as simple as possible mm -hmm. is this confusing john chapter 6 verse 29 jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of god that you believe on him whom he hath sent this is the work of god that you believe it's the work of god that you believe see it's work can you see that yeah. it's the labor of god that you believe the work of god why why the work of god it's his faith mm -hmm. that's in that word spoken we enter into his rest that's in that word spoken through belief and he said it's by my spirit saith all things are him working belief in you this is the labor this is the work and if you will do it if you will do it at times it will seem like you're brainwashing yourself I'm telling you you're simply speaking and believing believing and speaking and you might not believe it the first time you speak it Does this make sense and so when you do that and you're doing it right if you're doing it right it will seem like at times you're trying to brainwash yourself that's good that's exactly what i was going to say next there's nothing wrong with that that is actually good yeah. cleaning up your dirty mind <laughs> we could all use some brain washing mm -hmm. and changing your thinking right you're washing your thinking from thinking one way to another way john chapter 15 and then verse 3 now you are clean you still here yep. through the word which i have spoken unto you how does your mind get clean through his word spoken we believe and speak and your mind gets clean your brain gets washed <laughs> Ephesians 5 26 you don't have to turn there but it also talks of the washing of water with the word what word the word that's spoken well I'm going here I'm going to the fullness of belief say the fullness, the fullness of, belief of belief that's already in that word but there's a work of speaking it and believing it that takes us there into the thing said there's a work of speaking it and believing it that takes us there into the thing said jude chapter 1 verse 3 beloved when i gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation it was needful for me to write to you and to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints how was this faith once delivered to the saints it was spoken the Holy Ghost said it and then holy men of God spoke it Amen. earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered Holy Ghost first spoke it and then the men of old spoke it and we have david in the old testament saying that we walk with god in the land of the living i have believed and therefore have i spoken in the new testament paul said we believe and also speak say we believe, we believe. and also speak. also speak we worship the holy ghost as god and we walk with him in the earth in the land of the living by speaking in agreement with his word this is our faith and I am earnestly contending for it there is no limit to the distance that we can go with him in his spoken word of God thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people that they've heard the spoken word of God this evening and their faith has been encouraged and regenerated when now they can go where they could not go before into the fullness of belief in jesus name amen, amen. 
if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you have spoken your words into the earth I believe them and also say them now I enter into them in Jesus name Amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in